Now, the county government of Nairobi is projecting that close to 10 people could have lost their lives following flash floods occasioned by Sunday's heavy downpour. Meanwhile, rescue operations geared towards retrieving the body of a police officer who died rescuing traders at the Mudurwa market have been initiated by the county government. NTV's Sydney Chazima has more details. The Nairobi County government is reporting that several people might have died during Sunday night's floods. So far I have had different calls around 10 from last night, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been hearing uh, those calls. But we're confirming two or three people can tell you about the same person. One of the tragic incidents occasioned by the torrential rainfall is the death of one police officer attached to the Muroto police station who died while rescuing traders at one of the stalls in Mudurwa market. Na itane liyote metoka all the way from Uru Park, so kulukua nile maji excess. So one of the officers ako around hapa Moroto, alikuwa na jaribu kusaidia. There is a lady mwena alikuwa hapa kwa duka, alikuwa na funga. Though it was later, lafu kulukua na blackout, alikuwa kuwa na steamer within. So it was just abruptly. Efforts to retrieve his body underneath the stalls, ironically named Rivers of Joy, are still ongoing. But locals claim the body might be kilometers away from the scene. Aside from the deaths, the rains left a trail of destruction amounting to huge losses for business people. Now, just to give you a highlight of the effects of the torrential rains that fell yesterday, I'm here at the Lungalunga area in Nairobi, where one of the companies uh, is called Jojo Tank. You can see the effects here, that, that all the tanks that have been made here have been submerged in the water. You can see the vehicles that are used to transport some of the tanks here are also submerged in the water. Nearly all the activities of this company here have been affected and nothing is going on currently. A book printing farm in the Nairobi industrial area has been left to reel over losses running into millions. This should be nothing more than, I think it will go over more than 100 million or so. If you just see, because each and every machine, each machine is about 30 to 40 million. Look at the amount of machines that we have here and the material, the finished goods. So this can go over 100 million or so. Okay, so we've been stuck. Apart from the losses, the rains also caused a paralysis for motorists plying the expressway and other feeder roads in the city. A country or a city like Nairobi that rarely, rarely experiences that kind of quantity, it would take us close to 20 billion shillings alone just to have the kind of uh, uh, solid infrastructure that rainfall like last night would not affect. Now that happens less than 10 times a year or less than five times a year you know so do you put that 20 billion there or the more pressing needs of these people that you can see including employment city residents have been urged to exercise caution even as the weatherman predicts more rains to come those in distress during this period are also being urged to call the 1508 toll-free emergency line sydney 